You're watching the Auction Network. It's the crack of dawn and we're in Honolulu, Hawaii, where the United Fishing Agency is holding its daily auction. Let's get inside and see how one of the world's highest quality fish auctions serves up the catch of the day. The auction operates uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. And generally speaking, we start at 5.30 in the morning. At 5.30, my auctioneer rings the bell. And basically, this is where we start and, and, and just proceed on. Each and every one of these wholesalers, of course, come in with a game plan. But one of the first and foremost realities is that they have to look at each of these fish. And so in, in, the, in this process, the fish, of course, have been, have been reviewed and checked by our, my staff and, and our people. And then, when it's on the floor, it really has an opportunity to be scrutinized by the wholesalers themselves. So relative to what their needs are for the day and perhaps for the week, uh, it's, it's up to their individual buyer to also discern what the quality factors are and to decide which fish he's, he would be willing to, wanting to buy and for what kind of prices. And with the auction underway, Brooks talks me through some of the tricks of the trade. So what, what these buyers are looking for, basically, within a matter of split seconds, they're looking at the whole fish as well as the, the, the tail cut, the wedge cut, and we also do an anterior coring. That's and what that is right yeah, there? this is the core, all right? Wow. And this will give the buyers a good example of what this fish is all about. So within a matter of six seconds, they've got to make that determination and then bid on these fish. They're looking at not just color, I was wondering, yeah, what... But texture. Okay. All right? They're also looking at how old the fish might be. So these guys can tell you within a matter of a couple of days how old these fish are. If some of these guys will take a look at the inside, inside of the fish. Okay. All right? Now, it's still showing pink. Right. So this is pretty fresh. As we proceed along, there'll be some fish that are a little older. And if you take a look inside the gill cavity, it's going to be a little browner. But you can see the age difference. Okay? Now, but the coloration like this, like this is kind of a, like a red. A darker kind of, red, yes. Red is good. Right. This fish is fairly fresh. One of the characteristics would be this blueness around the eye. The fish itself, nice color. Got some fat on it, not that much. Right. Now we move over to the other one. As you can see, this is, the color is a little bit lighter. Yeah. The flesh itself, this has, got, this has got more life in it, right? right? As opposed to this. And so this would, this would get a higher price than this than one. Than this one, yes. okay. So when a chef talks about one finger, two finger, three fingers of fat, essentially what he's talking about is, if you take a cross-sectional cut of this fish, right. this would be one finger, two finger, three fingers of fat. Of course, the more fat, the more better, flavor. the more flavor. And the more money it gets. And more money, there you go. The ideal situation, of course, is you've got a large fish that's fresh, nice color, good texture, and a lot of fat. That's not like the holy grail of, of Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. And that's the, that's, when, that's, the, that's the one that when you go to the sushi restaurant, that's the stuff that just melts in your mouth. But sushi restaurants aren't the only place you'll find this fresh fish. There are plenty of island retailers that stock it as well. Guy Tamashiro is here. He's one of the few retailers that are, that are buying here in this auction because they sell so much fish. Tamashiro <laughs> family, over the years, have developed a reputation. And I would say that here in Hawaii, as far as a retail seafood outlet is concerned, they're, they're, they're like the, the king. They're, the, they're what everybody sort of regards as the, the standard for, for, for the industry in terms of quality and, and, and uh, variety of uh, presentations in terms of different recipes and pre preparations and that sort of thing. Anybody get six half? Six half going over here. 670, 670, 680, 90, 7 dollars, 7 10, 20, 30, 40, yeah, 60, 70, 80, 90, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, yeah. Every day we come to the auction 
Okay. And we, we know what, what's coming in for the, for the day. Right. But what's also, you got to get a feel as to what's going to happen the rest of the week. And that's important too. Because it's a little bit like a poker game and a circus at the same time. All right. Oh, okay? so. <laughs> so it's a zoo because you got a bunch of animals over here for trying to buy fish. But, you know, we all need the fish. It's just a matter of fighting and maneuvering and trying to, trying to get good buys along the way. Like for us, we're retailers, so we have to look for good value for our customers. And when the prices are, are really good, then we buy more and then we can sell it cheaper, sell it, sell it, sell more. So what you're saying is you don't want to buy everything the first day. No, like that's no. that's what you're talking about the, yeah. the whole poker thing. Like right. you want to buy a little right now, and you know that something else is going to come in tomorrow, and right. kind of plan your week out. Today the price I think were very high compared to what it what it was last week, and the catches are still good. So I don't want to overstock, right. especially if I think the prices are high. So if the prices are cheap, I don't mind going a little bit long because you know you can buy good quality for a good price. But if the prices are high like today. You know, it's, it's, it's more of a gamble. Well, actually, it's a it's a friendly competition out here. So, oh, okay. You know, we get, like, we're retail. Most of the wholesalers, they, they have to fight for the same customers. Whereas the retailers, we're not exactly in the same market as the wholesalers, so they give us a little bit of break sometimes. So, on the, on, this is the weight tag. Okay. Okay. So this is the name of the boat, the number of pieces, the weight. So three pieces for 26 pounds. That's this batch. Then it goes to one that's uh, 12 pounds. The larger ones command a higher price. So the better value for our customers don't have to have the big ones like the restaurants. So they get a better value buying a dollar seventy small one as opposed to a three ten that is only four pounds bigger. Wow. You know, so the value is there in the smaller ones. There's a lot of other stuff to check out, so don't go anywhere. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.